piano and the online violin tutor. Today um, I just wanted to share with everybody something really cool that um, I found on a website um, that you can put on your, your violin. I did a video, um, I'll put a link to it um, in the actual video bar coming up about now so that you can click on it, but it was when you started to put your fingers on the fingerboard, like finger one, two and three, um, I I said that I put dots on the fingerboard or, or lines so that you know where to put finger one, two and three. But then I was getting a few comments from some of my subscribers saying, well, how on earth do you know where to put those dots? If you haven't got access to a piano or anybody that's musical or anything at all, how on earth do you know where to put exactly the dots on? So what I actually managed to find on my travels, on my travels rather, when I was looking for some other music, is this cool little thing, I'll put a link in it for you, um, in the bar underneath so you know where to buy it from. It's called Don't Fret. It's for, it's basically a sticker that you stick on the fingerboard of the violin and it tells you exactly where your first finger, second finger, third finger and more go on the actual violin. So it saves you having to, to fiddle about trying to line it up with a piano and, you know, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And, you know, if, if you do get the dots in the wrong place, it's terrible, it can be horrendous and you'll get yourself all into, in, into all sorts of troubles and things like that. So, this solves that problem. I think, um, I can't quite remember, but quoting off the top of my head, £4.49, £4.50 or £4.99, something like that. It was under £5 anyway. Um, and what it is, it's a sticker, like this. Okay, and you peel the sticker off, so it's not actually white, it doesn't come out white, so I think it actually comes out transparent. Um, I haven't put it on my violin yet because I've been trying to show you, but um, if I try and get the sticker undone, sorry I don't have any nails, so I play the violin, so it's difficult to pick the sticker, but if I start to peel it away for, for, for you, can you see that it's actually... It's sort of, um, maybe not clear, but like a frosted kind of colour. Can you see that? I don't want to peel it off completely. So I'm not going to peel it off because and stick it on my violin because then I won't be able to get it off and I don't need it on my violin, obviously. But what I will do is I can just place it underneath the strings. So what you do is you basically stick the sticker as far up as it will go until you reach the little rigid bit at the top of the violin there so um, I'm not sure I'm trying to can you see there's like a little rigid kind of line there if you like so if I were to place the sticker up as far as that it just physically won't go any more than that it won't go into the peg box because it's already reached it's already reached that line there so it sticks as far as that and then so when you peel the sticker off stick it underneath the violin, stick the sticker as far as that line will go. It must go as far as the line will go. There are instructions in here as well that you can have a look at, but stick it as far as the line will go and then, ta-da, your notes should be, or your, your lines, dots, whatever, should be perfectly positioned. It won't look as rubbish as this and it won't look white, it's just because I haven't taken the sticky backing off yet because I don't want to actually stick it on my violin and sort of be stuck with it. But it's great for you guys out there, especially if you don't know where to put your fingers and you're kind of having a bit of a guess where, you, where you're sticking the, the coloured dots. So the yellow dot, the yellow line is for the first finger, the red line is for the second finger and the blue line is for the third finger. The orange line is for the fourth finger. So the only thing you haven't got is when you have to put your second finger back. But I mean, really, you can just put that back next to the, next or just above the yellow line anyway. Or if you had your first finger on the yellow line, your second finger would, would be right next to it if at any point you had to do that. So another exciting feature about this sticker is that it actually does fold in half. So you can, there's, there's like a little perforated edge here that you can actually pick off. So if you just wanted to sort of stick that top half in, first finger, second finger and third finger, you could just do that if you wanted to. The bit underneath it continues on. This is, the orange line here would be for the fourth finger. 
so you could in fact maybe just cut it there instead if you wanted to and have the line where the fourth finger would go because that actually can be quite useful so I might cut it just underneath the the orange part there and have it sort of have it up to here that's personally what, what I would probably do if I was going to use that for, for any of my students or anything um, the next few lines the the purple the green and the sort of browny tan kind of color that's for if you're in the third position so I mm, I probably wouldn't use the last three the purple the green and the tan for third position just because I think well one if you've got yourself up to third position anyway you're probably not going to need the rest of them down here for third position and two if you're doing third position you should start you, you should start to use your own ear anyway and and go more on sort of finger gaps and and close and together and that sort of thing rather than using one of these but definitely definitely I think this is great up to the orange line so most importantly peel the sticker off place it underneath uh, the strings on top of the fingerboard but if the sticker must go up to the top until it sort of can't go any further that's really important if it's any further down from that then it won't be in tune and then ta-da you've got your first finger second finger first third finger and a fourth finger all done so I just think this is this this is great and for the money I just think it's fantastic I'll put a link in it underneath but I just thought I would share that all with you guys and I hope you get on with that um, let me know if you have managed to get hold of it let me know in the comment bar underneath um, and uh, tell me how you got on with it so thanks for watching don't forget to check out my other videos please subscribe and I'll catch you all next time <laughs>